hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching this video is about reacting to fifa best awards and if you want to help the channel very simple click on that like button and subscribe to the channel let's go so fifa best award used to be the same as ballon d'or and they split it few years ago i think it's because of the money and sponsors because fifa want to make their money and uh, france magazine who created ballon d'or in the 60s they also want to keep a chunk of their money <laughs> so fifa decided a few years ago to create their own award but it's not the same level as Ballon d'Or. Let's be honest, right? Ballon d'Or is Ballon d'Or. Let's go. So Thierry Henry was the guy who presented the show. He was in London. And you can tell here some uh, some bowlers, ex-bowlers, women, and also men. So Spalletti, you can tell here. He was nominated in the category of uh, best coaches. Claude McKellie, remember him? A Chelsea legend. Absolutely legend. He's so good that they named one position to his name. The, the McKellie position. Let go. And... Uh, Wow, Marta, actually I can't show you that image. It might be copyrighted, but she's just like the Ronaldinho of women football. I think she retired. So Pep Guardiola in the building. I'm starting by the bottom one and go top to see who won what. Jan Wright in the building, looking like a president. Thierry Henry winning on and off the pitch with beautiful women. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, the man, you know, the man coach of 2023, Pep Guardiola. Well deserved, if you look at it. Won the treble. But if you gave it to uh no that that was in 2022 i'm confusing now with the world cup but in 2023 he was simply the best okay let's be honest here so congratulations boss it was funny to see thierry Ari asking him uh what is the best like the best team he ever coached between prime barcelona and prime manchester city and he he said some colorful language that I don't want to say in the channel, but he used some F word in public. <laughs> it was funny. Women coach of the year. Serena. Yeah, she did good with England. Uh, it was uh, in 20, I don't know. What uh, what year was the Euros that they won? Hmm. I think uh, if we we follow the logic, and I might be a little bit biased here, I was going to give it to Emma Hay from Chelsea. We see Pep Guardiola right there giving a speech. Goalkeeper of uh, the year 2023. Uh, you see here, Mary, Mary Earps. Well deserved. She is tall. England international. No doubt about it. She's one of the best in the world. And man goalkeeper of the year 2023 was given to the man man himself. Edison, the Brazilian goalkeeper that can't even get in the starting 11 but he's so good with city because edison 
from Liverpool is the number one for Brazil. FIFA Fair Play Award goes to Brazil senior men national team players. I don't know what they did to deserve it. They didn't fight on the pitch or they didn't curse or what will happen for them to get uh, the Fair Play Award in 2023. I don't know. I'm still a little confused between 2022 and 2023. Looks like it was yesterday. The World Cup, but the World Cup it was in 2022. So I don't know what Brazil national team did to, to deserve that award. Pushkash. Pushkash Award, which is the best goal of 2023. This young is from Brazil. Huh? His name is uh, Guilherme, Guilherme Madruga. I don't know what team he plays. I might be wrong here. But and I have to double check on his goal uh, on YouTube to see what was uh, you know the particular. I mean, yeah, he deserve it. I don't know. Best uh, best fan award goes to the club Atletico because the fan, you know, that fan here that is on the picture. He brought his baby in the stadium, feeding the baby and singing, dancing and all that. So that was special. Like bringing the next generation of football fans in the stadium. Okay. And then Marta, of course, special award. She really deserves a special award. What a player she was. huh? The Brazilian Ronaldo or Ronaldinho. I think there is a another one that uh, there is a pl a player in uh, Argentina, a, a women player that she she put like Messi in one leg and another one is like Ronaldo, like she got some tattoos. Not Marta, but that is part of uh, just me talking. <laughs> Messi is crowned the best, so the Ballon d'Or, Messi. The best Messi. What else? He been winning everywhere. He can't stop winning. World Cup winner. But that was in 2023, which I am a little confused. And some people are saying that is a robbery because it's supposed to go to Haaland. Or, I don't know, who else? Mbappe? No. Like, if you have to take to consideration only 2023... Uh, is a little questionable because Messi won the World Cup in 2022. But he's, he's the GOAT. So I think people want to give him all the awards because it could be his last. The Ballon d'Or was his last. This FIFA best, probably his last. Unless if he does good with, uh, with uh, Miami and wins probably the Copa America. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but the prizes are going to keep coming for somebody like Messi until a very, very late age, until he's 50 or something. And Ronaldo, why everybody is snub snubbing Cristiano Ronaldo at the moment? I don't understand why, but I think the guy deserves to be in the conversation. He scored more goals in 2023 than anybody. So I think... They have to create one prize for Cristiano Ronaldo and not only for Messi, right? So people can uh, can enjoy all of them. Anyways, people, leave your comment. Tell me uh, who robbed who. <laughs> Many people are saying that is a, a a a daylight robbery from Messi. So many people are saying that, but come on, man, Messi is Messi. You know, eight Ballon d'Or, eight FIFA best. Wow. This is incredible. Incredible Messi. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the show. It's a very relaxing show, kind of talking. You know, take crazy. Not every video is supposed to be very serious. And Yeah, 
Take it easy, man. Appreciate the guys who won. And look at this guy. <laughs> look at this. Messi is the top scorer in the French League? No. Messi is the best player in the French League? No. Messi is the top scorer in the Champions League? No. Messi is the best player in the Champions League? No. But Messi, the best player in the world, 2023. <laughs> that is a joke, according to this guy here, Mr. A.S.A. It is what it is. Cristiano Ronaldo people are not going to be happy. Messi's people, if you didn't give him the best, uh, were not going to be happy. But I think it's time now to turn to the new generation of Mbappe, Haaland, Bellingham, and let's see what's going to happen because it's kind of becoming a little bit boring. The same people over and over and over again. So next season, expect Haaland to be in the conversation and, and the rest. Who's going to win it next season, people? Who do you think is going to win? The Ballon d'Or? Or the FIFA best? And all the good stuff. Let's keep the conversation going.